Hello, I'm Ethan, and welcome to the football show alongside Oliver and Adam. Today we'll be discussing the top three running backs, quarterbacks, and wide receivers in the league today. So what, who are your top three running backs? Uh, for running backs, I definitely have to go um, the, uh, David Johnson. He was great. He's been great for Arizona. I think they're coming back strong. Um, with Car if Carson Palmer was healthy, it'll give him an even better season because I have to be worried more. Worried, I'd be more worried about a, a passing defense with a passing defense against Carson Palmer than I would be about a running defense. Um, I also have to, I also want to say Adrian Peterson. I know he was injured last year with that meniscus tear, but he's gotten injured before and he's come back just as strong. I don't I don't see why he wouldn't have a good season. And finally, I think it'll be Ezekiel Elliott. I think people a lot of people are saying sophomore slump. But I, um, I think that he's had a solid season. They have a great. They, uh, I think that he has a, a great, great offensive line in Dallas. The fact that he, if he can run behind that offensive line the way that he did last year, I think that he can be probably if the, one of the best, if not the best, running back in the NFL. What about you, Adam? Um, I'd say um, David Johnson for the same reason as Oliver. I mean, he's an outstanding running back, and he also led the league in. Um, in receiving yards as he is basically a dual threat with running back and wide receiver and then Le'Veon Bell I mean he's one of the best running backs and he's one of the best running backs ever you can argue I mean you can never count out Le'Veon he's uh, such an amazing player and I think definitely him and also um, Latavius Murray I mean he did outstanding with the uh, o Oakland Raiders I mean and that's a very high passing offense we'll see what they can do now having um, now being with Minnesota with a with a team that runs a lot because they don't have like a complete quarterback that and they don't know like a franchise quarterback so I ver I think Latavius Murray will have an outstanding year. What about you, Ethan? Uh, I definitely think Le'Veon Bell just because he he's so patient behind his line and he waits for holes to open up and he's also one of the best route running running backs in the league. I would also say David Johnson because he's a dual threat, like Adam mentioned, and like Oliver mentioned, with the Cardinals coming back, he could have an even better season. And I'd say Devontae Freeman just because of how just dual threat he is. Um, one of the reasons that I didn't have Le'Veon Bell up there is I think that this Steelers offense is a great one. I think that he may. I'd be worried about another suspension. Last year he got in. I believe was it four or eight games. Two. Four. Two, oh, two, four. It was four. It was four. Um, so I'd be worried about him not being there. Um, I think that he could be. I definitely think that he's up there, but I don't know if he. I think I. I'd say him as my fourth. I think he just missed out on mine. I think that I still think he's coming back. I think he's definitely really good. Yeah. Okay. So now on to the top three quarterbacks in the league today. What's your opinion, Adam? Um, Tom Brady. I mean. He's the best quarterback of all time. You can't leave him out. Definitely Tom Brady. And second, I think Aaron Rodgers. He's such a good quarterback. And I think this is a little bit of an outside one, but I think Drew Brees. I mean, yes, he's losing Brandon Cook, Cooks, um, and now, but now he has Marshawn Lynch, a star running back who will take, um, who will um, make it so um, defenses will have to um, look at Marshawn Lynch because before that they didn't have a star running back, so they knew that the Saints were going to pass the ball. And I mean, it's, he's just such a great quarterback. Oliver, um, I think that one of them is definitely going to be Derek Carr. Uh, I think that that big deal I mean, that he signed. I, yes. I might be worried about him not having playing as well because of the big deal. He had an pressure. ACL injury. Uh, you don't know I, I how to come back from an ACL injury. Uh, I, he only missed one game. He only yeah, missed, he only it was the last game of the season. I, I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. Um, I think that fact that they have Marshawn Lynch now and he has two great wide receivers. I think that he's going. It's, it's the offense has so many threats. Uh, Tom Brady, of course, best quarterback ever. I think it's basically indisputable. You cannot leave him out of this list. And finally, I think it's Aaron Rodgers. Um, mm -hmm. People may say Dak Prescott. I don't think he's going to come back as good as he yeah, was. I, I think that he's going to get a bit overrated this year. Um, but Tom, but um, Aaron Rodgers, great. He is a great quarterback. He has some great wide receivers and a great tight end. A great, just a great offense all around. Yeah, I mean, I don't even need to explain Tom Brady, of course. But I would also say. Um, Aaron Rodgers, because even without Jordy Nelson, he still put up numbers. And my final one would be probably Drew Brees. And now two wide receivers. Um, so I think Amari Cooper, Brandon Cooks, and uh, Antonio Brown. Uh, I have to say Julio Jones is one of them. Um, he's put up great for the Falcons. Antonio Brown, of course, and a great offense. 
and uh, I think it's Amari Cooper. And now that they have Marshawn Lynch, it's going to be an even better offense for them. Uh, I would have to agree with Oliver's list of Antonio Brown, Julio Jones, and Amari Cooper. Thanks for watching the football show. I, I'm Ethan Helke, Oliver, and Adam.